Welcome to video number 15 in the Maximo Application Suite, Maximo Managed Technical Snippets, brought to you by Starboard Consulting. In this video, let's continue with the role of an administrator or functional analyst and take a look at both the database configuration and object structure applications. Key applications as we look to analyze or continue to analyze all the wealth of data that Maximo produces. So I'm going to head over here to database configuration. Again, just that verification that all those feature sets that we love are still available and are as powerful about as ever in Maximo. So I'm going to come over here to the asset table. Again, we have a new look and feel, but that same set of features is available. I can navigate to my different tabs or I can just scroll down here and make sure some of those features that we love, audit and enable, for example, are available there. One of my favorite um, tabs is a relationship tab. I use this all the time as I'm trying to understand how various tables are related. And that's going to bring us up into our next application, which is the object structure application. Well, let me just do a filter here and let's take a look at work, uh, work order tracking. And of course, it's not there because it's not WOTRAC. The object name is work order. So when I look at my parent of asset and my child of work order, I can see all those great relationships I have and how the two tables are joined together and the variety of relationships. These are already there in Maximo pre-joined for you to be able to utilize as you analyze data. So love database configuration, features, functionality, all the same. Let's grow over here to object structure, see how that is so important to us. Um, I think I bookmarked something, I created something earlier. So again, here I've got an object structure that's available, same set of uh, features, functionality, lots and lots of actions available here. And as I scroll down, my object structure is those collections of database tables pre-joined together. I can see my parent here is asset, child, location. Again, just using that same set of functionality, there's no new row, right? So I have to come over here and click the plus button. Click plus button. What is my child object? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the, <laughs> the lookup this time so I can make sure that I type in the, the right value. Let me try a little bit. Skinnier query there. There is my object is work order. Who's my parent? Love, love, love this lookup. So visual, I can start to see my hierarchy of tables as I build them. And then again, what's that relationship, right? This is going to be so important to us. And this is pulling on that information that we saw over there in database config. You can see how these are all related. And I can go ahead and save that. Come up here to the top, save that information. And now I've just extended my object structure. In this case, it's a report object structure that I could either utilize for Cognos or my QBR ad hoc reporting. And I've built that and really seamlessly in this new clear, I would say clear, concise format, modernized look and feel that is available within the Maximo application suite. So that's video number 15, where we took a quick look at database configuration and our object structure application. Thank you.